Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about how we can really foster mathematical creativity with our students so that we can foster those creative skills and develop those uh, creative skills in the discipline of mathematics. So if you're interested in this topic, then please keep on watching. Okay, so today I'm going to go over some different uh, criteria or aspects of mathematical creativity. So let me just make myself a little bit smaller here, put myself maybe in the center so that I can go through each point one by one. So the first one is the ability to formulate a hypothesis or conjecture. And we want our students to be able to predict and look at data or situations and make a conjecture or hypothesis so that they're actually engaging their critical thinking skills. Um, I also think another criteria for mathematical creativity is the ability to see mathematical patterns. And um, a wonderful book by David Souza is called How the Brain Learns Mathematics. And he says that we're all born with this innate quality to pattern seek. And so it's really important that we put our students in situations where they're looking for patterns and then generalizing. And I know that a lot of math educators actually see mathematics mathematics as a discipline of patterns as well. So my next criteria for mathematical creativity is the ability to break away from typical mindsets, which means that sometimes people perceive mathematics as a very definitive discipline with the right answer and wrong answer. But many times when we're looking at solving problems, there could be multiple pathways and there could be actually multiple solutions, especially to the big world problems that we see currently. Um, and in particular, it could be to do with the sustainable development goals by the UN. There's just not one solution. So we want to encourage our students to have you know, a mindset where they're open to different multiple pathways and different answers. My next criteria for mathematical creativity is the ability to evaluate unusual mathematical ideas and pose questions and really trying to foster curiosity within our students so that we give them, say, a stimulus to be able to pose questions and to generate different mathematical ideas and evaluate them as well. Now, my next mathematical creativity criteria is the ability to sense what is missing from a mathematical situation and to be able to fill in the missing information. So again, it's not about just a right and wrong answer, but being able to really look at a mathematical problem and try to think of the steps or the pathways or the information that we need in order to be able to solve that particular problem. And lastly, I think a criterion for mathematical creativity is the ability to break down mathematical problems into specific subproblems too, so that we can actually look at the subproblems and they may contribute to the solution of the overall problem. We know that the biggest math problems in the world sometimes take years to answer or some big problems are still unanswered. And so it's really useful to be able to break down a problem into subproblems and look at the different components. So they're my ideas on the criteria for developing mathematical creativity. Uh, if you have any ideas, then please put a comment in the section below. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.